this I'm keeping secrets in my head For any space you can find Let them see that I can help Make your life a bit easier But have you ever put a car I felt? You need to think about your behavior said we'd be on a little late tonight, and we are. I'm telling you here. Hey, this is Simply Blitz. Thank you for tuning in. This is draft night, boys and girls. So, you know what? We figure that we do our doggone to give you uh, some, uh, some good stuff here. Right now, it's the 19th pick. Dallas has that pick. They're ready to uh, do their thing. If they're showing the boardroom there on the telly and the big screens and everything that's around here. And headquarters of the Detroit Lions. Hey, uh, hey, I'm not broadcasting out there because this is not live, but you know what? We took another, another route so we could be legal. Then we go ahead and get the interviews and all the other good stuff. So, hey, we got it done here. And uh, just to tell you right now, uh, Dallas Cowboys are waiting to get their pick. We will give you the Detroit Lions pick as soon as it come on through. I'm going to let you know that right now. Let's get to some uh, sports news. Uh, you can't get enough of it right quick. If you don't know already and haven't got the doggone the success of the, uh, the Detroit Tigers, is I'm going to give you a little treat while we wait for Detroit to get picked, and we're talking about Detroit Lions, that is. Boy, oh boy. Detroit Tigers had an opportunity to uh, kind of make things right, being in Pittsburgh on the uh, uh, they cut the anchor game of the series there. Uh, they wasted some opportunities. They wasted a lot of opportunities there. <clears throat> and they lost to a walk-off home run in the ninth inning by Corey Dickerson. And, uh mm, it's it's funky. Uh, first uh, game ending home run in Major League. He done this twice. Mm-mm-mm. It's simple. Uh, you know, they tried to dispute the home run, and it didn't work. <laughs> it was clearly a home run. I, I, and I can dig it. You know what? Let, you know, let's, maybe you have a chance, huh? They had nothing on that one there. Alex Wilson. I have been complaining about this guy. He hasn't gotten it together yet here. This is the third game I know of that he has brought the Titanic to the Detroit Tigers <laughs> field of play when he's pitching there. He has not been very good at all. And I, I just tell you here, he said his first uh, 01 slider. And my man knocked on it like it was no tomorrow. And it, it, it was embarrassing, really and truly there, you know, because it, it was a hot second and the game was over. I tell you right now, it's, <laughs> I, I, let's run some stuff on you right quick. They, they, you know, Tigers had eight hits, okay, eight hits. They had one walk, okay. These are the opportunities to get in there. McCann, uh, he had a double today. And uh, Martin, again, hitting like it's no tomorrow there, got a triple. And runners left in scoring position with two out. I'm just going to use that scenario. I'm not going to go with the one because I'd really be picking on that. With two outs and runners in scoring position, that means on second base where you can score on a hit. Okay, Dixon McConnell, Miguel Cabrera, Nicholas Calianos, Reyes, Julius Iglesias twice in the game was in scoring position. 
and did not score. They left a total of eight men on base today. Eight men on base. And again, you can score no runs. And this is where it was coming from from the get-go from a good little while here. And uh, Tigers got to get it together really, real quick. Uh, I mean, very, very quick. I mean, super quick. I'm just, that's all I'm going to say about this particular situation there. As we, uh, again, do some sports news that you can't get enough of, let's uh, check some basketball out right quick here. We can do that. Okay. And right now I'm looking at the Milwaukee Buckies. <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> and, that's, and the Celtics here. Celtics guys they, uh, has a lead right now. There's 78 to 71 right now in this particular ball game there. It's going on. Super quick, and that's the fourth quarter, though. So we'll get back to that maybe before we get off the air here, you know. Uh, looking at some hockey, Washington's playing tonight here. It, do you think they're doing any good? Because this game should be over. And at the last I looked at it here, <laughs> last I looked at it, it was not too good for the Washington Capitals. Pittsburgh took a 3 to 2 lead after, after. They took the initial lead in this particular uh, hockey game here. Uh, I'm clicking the switch right now as, uh, yes, uh, I'll tell you right now. Uh, I will have to look up the Washington game because right now Vegas is on the is on the screen along with San Jose in Vegas. And they just started. They, you know, 18 minutes in the first period right now laughing there so uh, we got to look up that particular score there right now right? So we're waiting for the Detroit Lions to make their pick that's, that, that's the important part of this whole scenario here I just wanted to let you know so we'll keep you abreast on that as uh, <clears throat> the Cowboys have made their selection we're waiting on them to give the word here as they say as they have Many kids uh, lined it up right behind the is Leeton Bando Esh from Boise State, a linebacker, the Dallas Cowboys pick. The first round, the 19th pick, Leeton Van X, boy. And he looks like a gullible guy here, you know, going out there, giving everybody high fives and all that, and ready to receive his jersey, huh? Officially now being a Dallas Cowboy after he signed that contract here. Make a little change here. Guess who's next waiting for their turn? The Detroit Lions. In 10 minutes, we will know <laughs> what the Detroit Lions are going to do with their particular pick. Right now, we haven't seen any trades go on. So, they're still in the ballgame, boys and girls, as far as... Uh, being lively here. Let's uh, talk about something else that went on today. Why uh, we're waiting for the Detroit Lions? Um, at a painting uh, party down there at uh, Little Caesars Arena, from three to eight, and early uh, that morning, from ten to twelve, you can go down and paint on the ice. And it was something I saw last year at Joe Louis Arena. That's when it first started. And they've carried this particular uh, thing to uh, the, to our new arena, Little Caesars. Where you bring your kids and paint on the ice, pictures, or whatever. Maybe. They give you 15 minutes to paint. And they let so many on the ice at a time. And believe me, you know, what you do is you buy tickets ahead of time for this particular. And then uh, you at those particular settings, and I just gave you two of them, they knew how many people were going to be coming in to be painting on the ice. And time goes quick, and there's a lot of room, a lot of space. Uh, believe me, two sessions doesn't do it justice. You can probably get a third session in there, and still people will be happy because... Uh, it's a nice little thing to do here. Then you take your picture, and then maybe you'll upload it on Facebook or 
Instagram or whatever those hooshiki bobs that you use. And, uh, hey, really uh, uh, take a look at it. There. It's, it's, it's a family type of outing, put it that way here. And it was today, and a whole lot of, they were, the first session was sold out. And the second session was not far from it. And um, and normally I sell out on this particular thing on a casual thing where they give you X amount of minutes to do something and you got to collaborate the people that you let in there. You probably get around a good 15 to maybe 2,500 people to partake in this, or families for that matter. Because normally families, you only get one shot at it. You all go out there one time and uh, kind of get your collection or what it may be uh, with the space that they're going to give you to do what you need to do on the ice in your artistry. As we have four minutes and ten seconds accounting for the Detroit Lions do their thing on their pick here. We're just jabbing around. This is Butch on Sports. Simply Butch is here waiting for the pick of the Detroit Lions as decent as may be. We'll give you the scope <clears throat> tomorrow show we will hopefully and normally we can do this tonight but when we get ready to go off the air here uh, which is going to be pretty quick because things happen pretty quick uh, we got to get the interviews and what it may be which is normally uh, teleconference type of style here so you know, get you all in one room there and uh, tell you uh Talk to the, the new person. Then they'll fly him in. It'll be either a matter of maybe tomorrow, but most likely it'll be Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning when the new draft choice come in to meet the media at large. Matter of fact, you'll get probably both the first two. Now, the rest of the draft choices and picks it will be done on Saturday up to seven. Seven rounds there. And the Lions pick is in. <clears throat> So this is going to be really something uh, to <clears throat> paint your whistle on. And I'm just waiting to really patiently here. And you know what? Um, while we're, we're talking here, we haven't heard any news on the Detroit Pistons and Stan Van Gundy. Uh, they were um, ideal that they will be starting this week, probably late this week, no later than Friday, well, my understanding that they will be having a conversation. That means that conversation, if it's going to be in intervals or parts, it'll take the whole weekend. So hopefully, like Monday, Tuesday, <clears throat> we can get the Pistons thing to be washed away here and, and find out what this actual team is really going to do to impress the fans to come out there and see them with a competitive team, a team that basically we many felt that they did not put their best effort in many of the players they have. Okay, and it, that just line of sight, and that has to change. Now, do Stan Van Gundy again uh, take the president ring and the president or the owner feel this necessary for him to do it? That's my pick. I think Detroit needs a coach. A coach that can influence these players to give it 110 percent from the time they hit the floor on down. A coach that will convince these players: if you're not going to be healthy, you're not going to be on the team. It's no sense of having someone give 10 games and fly away for the rest of the season. It makes no sense. Come on, Lions are going to get their pick here. We got that out the way for. This is supposed to be the positive part of this particular show here, and we don't have too much time left to to get it to you here either, but we're going to kick around here. Frank Ragnall from Arkansas is the Detroit Lions pick. He is a center. He's 6'5", weighs 312 pounds. He does a 40-yard dash in five minutes. Yes, He's the third team All American selection from Arkansas. And I haven't seen a picture of this guy yet. Or see, oh, there he is on the stage, if that's him. No, that's not him. Maybe he was not invited, but they picked someone here that, uh, 
hopefully they get a picture of the guy up here. You know, that's kind of bold. But that's the information right now I'm getting from the network. Detroit Lions are going to, in about, i say about 10 minutes, I'm going to give me about two more minutes to be on the air and talk about this particular there. Uh, we're waiting for information on that. So I'm going to go get that in about two minutes. And then also, readily speaking, they've already got him on the phone. And they'll be calling them back so the media at large can talk to them and deal with a, what you call a teleconference. Then after that, we'll get to hear from the head coach and plus the, more than likely the general manager who made the pick, okay, and why they made it here. So that's going to be hidden for tomorrow. We're going to have to save all that good stuff there for tomorrow for that particular day. But you you got it. You, you got what the Lions got here. What a deal. What a deal here in session here. Got to look them up right quick if we can give a second and type on in the NFL. See if they got some information on this fine pick. The draft live stream here. No, we don't want it live stream. We want it some goodies here. Let's do something that I kind of recommend doing here. Hit the little, uh, the mop, not the we don't want anything goodies there, but, uh, hmm. There we go. We are hitting, and I'm to get some information on this, this picture of the Detroit Lions here. There we go, and here we have them here. Okay. Uh, not too much information given on F Frank Reno. Again, he's a center that the Detroit Lions did acquire. So uh, that much we do know about the gentleman here in general. And again, we'll have to get the information. They're calling us now in the room there because they're right now of passing out papers and stuff. Hey, we got to go here, boys and girls. Frank Renau, uh from Arkansas is the guy they picked as a center. 312 pounds, 6 foot 5. What I got to give you right now here. I am done for this evening here. I, I, can, I can do it all night, but got to get this information on in there. You probably appreciate it a little better if I do. Uh, by the way, Tigers play the Orioles for the weekend. Hopefully they do better. Hopefully we'll get some information on the Pistons. Uh, Red Wings right now is vacation. He's painting on the ice. And, and, you know, got to let you know a little bit sooner next year <laughs> on, the, on the goodies there for that particular, you know, painting on the ice. Hey. Oh, we do make your life a little bit more easier there. Uh, we're done for the evening. Uh, getting this information, tomorrow's show should be a wing dinger. Half the show will probably be interviews and all this other good stuff here. Hey, uh, Butch on Sports is a presentation of All My Darling Productions. Hey, y'all have a good, good night, and we'll catch you tomorrow on the podcast here. Which all sports is a presentation of all my darling productions. Hey, have a great evening or good morning to y'all.